The one thing Shooky hates most is milk. You and me both, brother. <laughs> Shooky vegan confirmed. <laughs> What? Going on, K Stop! We're here today with what might be my best or worst video ever. You read the title correctly, folks. We are ranking BT21 characters by how easily I could beat them in a goddamn fight. You're probably thinking, Cam, Cam, what? Why? 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 Why in God's name are you doing this? Listen here, I don't want to. I don't. Let me make this clear. I don't want to fight any of them. God, no. I would never fight any of these absolutely adorable, beautiful creations. But hypothetically, say they were real. Say they did all pull up on me for a fight. They say, hey, Cam, we saw your videos. We kind of fucking hate you. And we all want to fight you. Hypothetically, if that were to happen, I am very interested in the dynamics of if I could beat them, any of them, how easily I. I could beat them how easily they could kill me i'm not sure if i have the skills to beat any of them oh wait skills that reminds me this video is brought to you by skillshare i will have more about them uh later on in the video uh thank you skillshare let me introduce you to this tier list uh that i made uh for ranking the bt21 characters on uh how easily i could fucking murder them or how easily they could kill me now i won't say it's not kill it's a fight but but listen i might die they might die in this fight i don't know there's no rules it's just a fight so top tier we have uh would absolutely obliterate me then we have would kill me with ease next is close but they'd probably win in the middle we have a fair scrap then we have close but i'd probably win next is would beat easily uh, and then last is would end them in literally fucking seconds i'm going to be 100 honest in my critique of myself and my fighting abilities i'm not gonna let ego get the best of me all right i'm not gonna place them all in would end them in seconds though i'd like to think i fucking could i'm going to try to do this as analytically and uh, mindfully as I possibly can and I'd like to thank you guys uh, for joining me on this journey uh, if you have any other ideas of uh, things you'd like to see me rank in the in the order of how easily I can fucking fight them I would love to I think I think 2020 is the year of tears we're gonna make so many tier lists that you're gonna just be app so sick of it so sick of it but I don't give a fuck I think it was really fun to make tier lists and uh, I like I like reading your guys's uh, thoughts and your ideas on what your tier list would be and things like that I I'll actually I'll put this tier list in the description if you want to go make your own then you can tweet at me uh, tweet it out Instagram whatever uh, Pinterest I don't give a shit but without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into this let's rank these beautiful cute awesome creatures that I would never fight but if I did let's rank them also you see I got the Tata I had to break out the Tata shirt today this is my favorite sleeping shirt so comfy to sleep in uh, I'm not doing an ad read for them I'm just little go pick up one of these shirts they're so cute tata is my favorite also i mean i feel like he's a lot of people's favorites he's also uh also he's also my phone background i don't know if you can see that wow. anyways let's hop into it first things first we have rj now rj is decent well first of all rj is Jin's creation Jin's bt21 creation rj is described on the official website so i'm on the official bt21 website rj is described as kind loving and a foodie doesn't really sound like a fighter right kind Loving foodie? RJ loves cooking. RJ loves eating. It's usually in that order. We love a man who can cook for himself. Or not not man. Uh, I'm pretty sure the BT21 characters are gender, gen, gender. gender neutral, which we love and we stand. The fluffy fur coat and compassionate soul make everyone feel right at home. Hashtag greetings. Hashtag gentle soul. Hashtag parka. Hashtag om nom nom nom. Now you read that right and you go, what? No, not a fighter. Also, I would like to say all these characters that you think, oh, they're really small. You could just fucking kick them. No, I'm judging all of these as if they were my size. So if they were six foot three, all these characters, think of them as human size, not little BT21 size. They're all human size because if they were like little, I could just fucking punt them no all these all these uh characters are human size so it's good that's how it's gonna be so that it's a fair fight anyway you read all that you think hell no not a fighter he's what he's kind he's compassionate he's got a soft compassionate soul he's a foodie he's he's fluffy and i would agree he does sound pretty easy to fight uh because he sounds like he's just kind of just chilling he, even in the even in the the uh the little anim anime animation thing he's just kind of bowing he's like oh hi sorry hi so at first glance i thought okay this would be pretty pretty fucking easy i could probably kill him super easily probably take a little bit probably take a little because he's got that big fur coat right 
right? He's got the big fur coat. And I'm sure that has like a little bit of absorption if I'm punching the shit out of him. There's no way he's going down with one punch. You know what I mean? But I was thinking he's got these little like hooves. He's got these hooves that I think if he was to connect with these hooves on the, because he's got the fur, the big fluffy fur, but these hooves, if he was to connect with one of the hooves, like to my fucking cheekbone or something, I think that's a broken cheekbone. But that's if he can get a punch off. And like I said, this description doesn't sound too scary, except the one thing that does scare me is the hashtag om nom 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 nom. I would assume that the om nom 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 is he just loves eating. He just loves to eat. He wants to eat. Um, num, num, num. Give me food. Oh, he's a cannibal. He's a goddamn cannibal. You can't stop this guy. He's a foodie, but he'll eat anything. One hoof kick to the fucking jaw. I'm out, knocked out. I wake up, I'm dead because he's eating me. But I do think he's a little bit soft. I think, I think even though he's got those strong, he's got the om nom nom in his favor. Like uh, that's a little scary. If you have a six foot three fluffy goddamn thing coming at you going om nom nom nom, I'd be a little scared, especially with those hooves. I think you could really connect with those hooves. But I think that against everything else, like him just being very soft and being very kind and loving and, and very compassionate. I think though it is possible to be all those things and be a good fighter, I think definitely I could take him pretty well. I just have to get some shots in. I gotta, I gotta work that, work that fucking fur. I think I can beat him pretty somewhat. I think I could beat him. I don't think it'll be super easy. He's definitely has some, has some good things going for him, but I think I'm going to beat him for sure. We're going to go ahead and put that in close, but I'd probably win. I think it would be close. I think it's a close fight for sure, but I, I think I definitely, I can knock the shit out of him. No doubt. Next we have Van. Van is described as a guardian space robot, the sentient and all knowing robot Van seems to be knowledgeable in just about everything in the galaxy. Acts as a protector of BT21 24-7. Hashtag guardian. Hashtag vehicle. Hashtag transforming. Hashtag robot. Van is supposed to be the army BT21. I don't, I don't need to go into much detail here, folks. You already know this dude is killing me instantly. I have no shot. Absolutely zero shot at beating this motherfucker. He's a robot. He's all-knowing. And he is a guardian and protector 24 7 and he also hashtag transforming this bitch can go super saiyan or something i don't transforming i'm getting big terminator vibes from this motherfucker i really am i think i am dead in seconds i think since he's a robot he can what he could do anything and he's, he's transforming he's all knowing he's he's gonna know every single move i can't catch him by surprise if he's all knowing and knows everything in the in the fucking galaxy then he's gonna know what i'm gonna do he's gonna know my game plan he could could kill me with any part of his body in any way that he'd like. He could probably do it as slow as he wanted to, or he could end it in literally a second. I am at his will. I am at Van's will. I would have zero shot. There is no chance. I, I'm not going to go in much detail. Just know that he could kill anybody. This dude wants all the smoke. He's a protector. He'd literally fucking kill me in seconds. So that, so we know where we're putting him. Would absolutely obliterate me. He'd obliterate anyone. Uh, not just me. I, I don't feel too bad about that one. It's not like a, a matchup sort of thing where, you know, oh, maybe someone else could say, no, no one's killing that motherfucker. He is, he's all in. Next, we have Mang, who is, of course, uh, Hobie's uh, BT21 character Jung Ho Suk. Uh, he's described on the website as a mystery dancer. Dancing runs in Mang's veins. Wherever there's music, Mang's probably there breaking out some cool moves. Veiled under a mask, Mang's true identity remains a secret. Hashtag heart shaped nose, hashtag mask. Hashtag mystery, hashtag best dancer. He looks like a fucking horse. I'll be honest. He look he gives me horse vibes, unicorn vibes. So I'm picturing a fucking six foot horse. Just well, I guess horses are usually horses are usually six feet anyway. So never mind. Mang's a tough one for sure. Cause cause I think all the mystery surrounding him is giving me that giving me the heebie jeebies. The fact that his identity is never known. It's just it's under a mask and, and literally no one knows who he is. It's a secret. We could be dealing with the toughest motherfucker ever. Ever. Like the mystery is what scares me because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. All I know is this dude can dance. And if he dances, you know he's quick, you know he's athletic, you know he could probably do really, really intricate things that I could even just never dream of doing. I think that would give him an upper hand in the fight for sure. He could be fucking quick, he'd do some sort of spin move, just pop and lock, do the robot, but he just fucking right hook me. I do think maybe uh, the one thing I can, you know, maybe the one thing that gives me a shot is, is the mask thing 
maybe if I take off the mask, that kind of takes away his powers. But you know how you rip off Bane's fucking mask thing and he fucking, he can't breathe. I think it could give me a bit of an, an advantage uh, if I do take off the mask. But I don't think I could maybe, he's probably so quick, probably so agile. I don't know if I could get that mask off of him. But once I get the mask off, and maybe he'll feel a little embarrassed. Maybe he's just like super self-conscious. Maybe I could just bully him. Maybe he's ugly as shit and I just bully him. That would probably make him mad and then he beat me up quicker. I think he's winning for sure. Just based on the, the raw athletic ability of him being an amazing dancer. Probably very agile. And then secondly, the whole mystery is really, really just it's giving me spooky vibes. Because this motherfucker could be anyone. It could be Van under there. I'm going to be putting him in would kill me with ease. I, I really don't think it would be that close. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have Chimmy, who is uh, Park Jimin's BT21 character. He's fucking adorable. Apps, I have a Chimmy notebook in the other room. I use it all the time to put down my stressful thoughts. Yeah, I have a diary. Fuck you. Chimmy is described as the pure at heart. So he's so pure. So pure at heart, right? We could fucking kill him easily. So you'd think. Chimmy always sports the signature yellow hoodie and is compelled to work hard on anything that catches Chimmy's attention. Hashtag passion, hashtag work hard, hashtag play hard, hashtag harmonica, hashtag yellow hoodie. So he's pure hearted. That's what we know. We know Chimmy is pure hearted. He literally shoot. He literally is shooting hearts out of his fucking hand. I don't know if that's some sort of special attack. He's shooting key blasts at me. This motherfucker could literally kill me with love. So the fact that he's pure at heart kind of makes him seem soft, right? Like, okay, I could take him. This guy's soft. He's pure at heart. Like, he's not going to be able to handle me, a man who is not pure at heart. But what gets me is he's compelled to work hard on anything that catches his attention. And if he knows that he's going to fight me, he's going to be training in the gym 24-7. Absolutely. He is going to be training 24-7. Work hard, play hard. That is, those are fighting words. I literally just picture him in the yellow hoodie with a fucking just huge boxing, whatever, you know, the things they hit. I don't know what those are called. Just in the gym, like... <laughs> Just getting ready to kill me. Like, I think maybe if it's a, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, like, I catch him in the street, like, we've had no planning. We don't know the fight's gonna happen. There's just an altercation outside the bar or something. I think maybe then it's like, okay, I can, I, he's, he doesn't know. He hasn't worked hard. He hasn't trained hard for this. I can catch him by surprise, hit him with a few jabs, right hook, pull that sweater over his fucking cute face and just kick the shit out of him. I think maybe if it's that type of fight, then I have the upper hand because he's soft. He's not going to know what's happening. He's going to be like, oh, stop. But I think if it's a, if it's a planned fight, you know, Logan Paul versus KSI type, I think I'm dead for sure. I think he's going to be working way harder than me. And also those heart blasts are really, is he going to be shooting me with hearts? One, do they hurt? And two, does he have an unlimited supply of them? Because I think if I'm getting hit from the heart, I'm just going to be feeling love. I don't think they're like malicious attacks. So I think we don't have to really worry about the heart shots. But as far as I'm concerned, that's a superpower. Like I said, it could go either way. I think, I think definitely if it's a planned fight, he's going to win. Uh, for sure. But if it's a quick altercation, I think I maybe have the upper hand a little bit. But I think he does have more of the upper hand because it says work hard, play hard. And those words actually do scare me. And also, I think a dude, any dude who plays the harmonica just is a little bit gangster. Just a tiny bit. Like a little rough around the edges if you're playing the harmonica. I think it's a close one for sure. But but he would probably win just based on how hard he works. Next, we have Shooky. Uh, which is Min Yoongi's uh, BT21 character. Shooky is described as a mini prankster, little fucking devil. Tiny Shooky, and that's, let's note that, tiny Shooky. So this dude's, I'm gonna say he's, he's close to maybe here on me. Tiny Shooky loves pulling pranks, especially ones dropped on friends. We're not friends. The one thing Shooky hates most is milk. You and me both, brother. <laughs> Shooky vegan confirmed. Hashtag fun, hashtag many faces, hashtag mini, hashtag crunchy squad. Now this one, uh, this one, it, I don't even know how to wrap my head around this one. It, I, he's like a little fucking cookie, right? He's like a little motherfucking cookie who hates milk. You think I'll just fucking eat him or dump a big thing of milk on him. That's fair. I think that he definitely has big weaknesses. One thing is he's small. Another thing is I literally could just eat him. Another thing is I'll just dump a whole shitload of milk on him and he's dead. But I think he, he does have a couple good qualities like being a mini prankster. I think he's a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, a little bit of a devil, you know, a little bit of a bad bitch, you know, and also it says hashtag many faces. And who are we to assume that one of those faces isn't an ultimate 
fighter. However, even though I think, you know, he's probably the least kind-hearted out of the group here uh, and, and also, you know, has these many faces, I think, I think we're beating him with fucking ease, though. Like, we just literally just have to dump milk on him. I dump milk on this tiny bitch and he's dead. I'll literally just... Cr he's cr hashtag crunchy squad. I will fucking break him in half. There's no way I lose to this this motherfucker. Like I literally one kick and he's fucking just split in half. It's not his fault. I think he's just not built for a fight. He's built for these little tiny <laughs> little fucking pranks. But there's no way he's gonna beat me in a fight. No way. Shooky is dead. Within I think he's dead for sure. I don't know how quick it's gonna be. Depends how much milk I have. We're gonna go ahead and say would beat easily. I think, you know, it could be seconds depending on, you know, the situation, but I think without a doubt we're beating uh we're beating Shooky easily. All right, folks, we got 3 left. Next we have Tata. As you uh I've seen, he's on my shirt, he's on my phone case, he's my favorite one. So, you know, this is going to be tough. It's like I'm beating I'm beating, I'm trying to kill, you know, a close friend. Tata's described as an off the wall curious soul prince. Taehyung, Taehyung was just like, no, he's a fucking prince. I don't, I don't give a shit. He's a prince. Tata is a crown prince on planet BT, possessor of supernatural powers. We are, we're already done, right? That's all I needed to read right there. Supernatural powers? I don't have those. These motherfuckers made superheroes. Possessor of supernatural powers and a hyper elastic body that stretches to great lengths. Tay fucking made fucking Mrs. Incredible. He literally made Elastigirl, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not winning this one. Hashtag planet BT. Hashtag off the wall. Hashtag superpowers. Hashtag prince. That, you think Tata, he's, he's a big heart, you know, you, you think, oh, he's just love. He's soft. Nope. Nope. Not one bit. This bitch probably has love for, for his, his own, his family, his friends. But supernatural powers and a hyper elastic body that stretches to great length. He could do, he could punch me. He could just literally stand 50 feet away and just... <laughs> Or he could just wrap his whole body around me, choke me out within seconds. I'm I'm dead for sure with Tata. Ta supernatural. All it says is supernatural powers. It doesn't go into detail about what that is. It does say hyper. It, it explains the hyper elastic fucking. He could literally do anything with his body. But also on top of that, having supernatural powers, this motherfucker could fucking beat Thanos. Where was he when Thanos showed up? Ta Tata, where were you when Thanos showed up? Up in his goddamn castle, just like a the puny prince you are, Tata. I'll fucking swing. No, he'd kill me. Easily. That that's that was easy to decide. He 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 is a prince. He's a fucking superhero. And I think one headbutt. His head is his head is twice as big as his body. Picture that on someone. Their head being twice as big as their body. And he's this tall right now. I think one just one one headbutt and I, I'm dead. Look, I'm cracked skull. So yeah, we're gonna put Tata and would absolutely obliterate me up there with Van. I didn't think we'd have anyone but Van up there, but Tata, look at this guy. He's fucking he's a baller. Look at that pick too. I would like to say that my camera is uh it says low battery. So it's gonna die soon. Not to worry. I will switch to my worst camera uh, once that dies. But uh, I'm just warning you: if I'm talking and it cuts out at any moment, it's because the camera died. Because I'm dumb and I didn't charge the battery before I started this. But I will switch to the other camera when it happens. Okay? Maybe we'll finish the video in time. I don't know. Let's move on. Red alert! Red alert! My fucking camera died. I gotta find the other one. Hold on. All right, folks. I'm back with a uh, slightly worse camera. I apologize, but uh, we're gonna continue on with this beautiful, lovely video. We only have two left, and let's see if I can be, I haven't been able to be, uh, more of them have beaten me than I've beaten them. So we'll see if I can improve on that. Next we have Cookie, which is made by Jun Jung Gook. It's his BT21 character. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're probably not beating him. We're probably not beating him. Cookie is described as brawny and hearty rumps. I don't even know what that means. Hearty rumps. Don't let Cookie's perky appearance fool you. Always full of heart and boundless stamina. Cookie's that one friend you can always count on. Hashtag unbalanced. So this dude can fucking snap at literally any moment. Hashtag eyebrows. Hashtag loyal. Hashtag imaginary muscles. Hashtag wisecracker. What did you call me? Ah, that was a good one. Um, I think, you know, on the surface, this does look like a bit of an unfair fight. This guy's got pom-poms. I don't know if those are his hands or pom- I don't know what those are. Does he have pom-poms for hands? Are those- I don't know. So he's full of stamina. He's not gonna get tired, which means I have to end the fight quick. It's gotta be a quick just bing, bam, boom. I gotta catch him quick and, and off guard, for sure. He's gonna be wanting to kill me, for sure. He looks like he's very, you know... He, he look, and they said he's unbalanced, which means he could just snap and just... <laughs> he's that one friend you can always count. So if he's, if he's... If we're fighting in the situation where he's sticking up for one of his friends, I'm dead. 
I'm so dead because he's like this loyal super friend who sticks up for everyone. And you got to have that one friend, right? You got to have that one friend in the group that just doesn't take no shit, says it like it is, just, a, a, just an amazing loyal friend who's a little fucking crazy. The only thing that is, is making me a bit hopeful here is the hashtag imaginary muscles. Uh, that could mean he's imaginary because... BT21 characters aren't real. But also, it could mean he doesn't actually have any muscles. He just imagines them because he's a little bit off his rocker. So if he has no muscles, then I could probably, you know, take him down, quick grapple, just overpower him. You know, I'm not the strongest guy, but I got... We got a little bit. We got a little bit. Also, I'm a little bit unnerved, though, if a motherfucker the whole time just like this. Like, what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Come fuck... Swing first. Swing first. Swing first. Looking like the rock, like the whole time. So he's got a lot of heart. He's got boundless stamina. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna fight to kill for sure, cause he's a little bit fucked. But he has those imaginary muscles. So I mean, how hard can you try? You know what I mean? You can, you can try as hard as you can. But if you don't got the muscles, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna take you down easily. That being said, he has a lot of things going for him. So it's really, it's a tough one to pick. It's a real tough one to pick. Uh, I think, I think he probably would win, but it, it would be so close. Oh, it would be so close. I think if I, if I got him with a few quick hits early, uh, and then I brought him down, I think then you know I could win. But it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so close. The tightest battle so far, I think. I think this one's close. Uh, but they would probably win. I think he'd probably win, even though he's got you know, because he's 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 carrying a dumbbell here, so he must have some muscles. I think when it's a, it says imaginary muscles, it just means he's an imaginary being. So he has muscles. Uh, so I that close, but they probably win. I think he would win for sure, but it would be close. Last, uh, but not, or you know what? Last, but literally maybe least. We have Koya, who is created by the beautiful Kim Namjoon. Uh, let me read Koya's little blurb. Koya is a gifted sleepyhead. And his ears apparently can fall off his fucking head. Brilliant, multi-talented Koya is quite the sleeping cutie. Koya naps with a mind heavily filled with thoughts. Hashtag talented. Hashtag pillow. Hashtag droopy eyes. Hashtag removable ears. This one, I think I could legitimately kill him with ease so quick. So fucking quick. I just first I just rip those ears off so he can't he, he can't hear shit. I'm gonna rip those ears off. I'll fucking eat them. I'll eat the ear. I'll take a bite out of the ear. I'll throw it back at him. It does say Koya is brilliant and multi talented. I do think because they're showing how sleepy and uh, you know cute and he's just very he's very like you know oh like I'm just chilling. I think he's very brainy. He's just, he's a super smart guy Koya. So I think you know he definitely will have some sort of game plan against me where it's like you know I, I don't think I could beat him within seconds. He he definitely divulged some sort of plan. But I think this dude's like like Professor X. Like, yeah, Professor X, he's amazing. He can do whatever he wants with his mind. I don't think Koi is on that level. But if I get up to Professor X, I just fuck, I kick his wheelchair over. It's over. I, it's he's done. I'm gonna kill him easily. It's the same with Koya. I get my hands on Koya once after that game plan fucking fails. Koya's dead. Koi is dead within within once I get my hands on Koi, it's over. Cause I could just fuck. Of course I wouldn't do that. It's all hypothetical. But say we're fighting, which is this whole video. I'm I'm blasting that motherfucker. Bam! It's easy. I think it's it's a it's a one-sided battle. I think you know do whatever mind tricks you can do. But once I get my hands on you, it's done. It's over. I really do think I would beat the. It's it's. It, I don't want to put wood and and I don't think it would be in seconds. I think like whatever, like I said, whatever plan he has uh, is gonna work. You know, maybe for for a minute or so, if even that. But I think he's dead for sure. Once I get my hands on him, lights out. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We, a round of applause for yourselves for sticking around this whole bit. round of applause. Woo! Yeah. We'll take one final uh, look at this tier list. Uh, we got uh, Van and Tata uh, would absolutely obliterate me. Uh, Mang would kill me with ease. Uh, we got Chimmy and uh, Cookie. Uh, it'd be close, but they probably win. No one in the fair scrap. I don't think we. I don't think I have an equal in there. I don't think there's one equal fight. We got RJ in close, but I'd probably win. Uh, then we have uh, Shuki and Koya in the wood beat easily because I really do think I would beat them easily. And then would end them in seconds. I don't think there's anyone I could end in seconds. I think if anyone, it's definitely Shuki. Oh, also, <laughs> I'm a child. I think I think uh, Shuki. It would be I could. That's the quickest one. But I don't think it's it's seconds. I don't think it's seconds. Maybe maybe a minute. Once I get that milk in there, it's over though. So that's my tier list. Uh, let me know what your tier list is. I'll leave the link in the description. Go make your own, tweet it at me, Instagram it at me. 
Leave it in the comments. Do whatever you want. How would you do in a fight? Huh? How would, you know, everyone's going to be a little bit different because everyone has different fighting abilities. Everyone uh, sees the characters a little bit differently. Not everybody has the proper skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by the wonderful people at Skillshare. Uh, they're giving away two months free of their premium membership to help you explore your creativity in whichever way you want to explore it. And after the two months, it's literally only $10 and $10 gets you so much literally so much. For example, there's a new course on there uh, that I really enjoyed and did myself because it has to do with editing and YouTube. And I know a lot of you guys uh, want to get into YouTube and want to learn how to do editing and things like that. I always have people messaging me saying, oh, how do I get started on YouTube? What should I do for editing? There's a class on there by Dan Dan Liu. It's called Power Video Editing and you learn Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I use. You literally learn it in 45 minutes. You learn all the basics. You learn advanced stuff. There's so many amazing classes and that is one of them. The link for that is in the description. It's in the pin comment. If you've never heard of Skillshare, like I said, it's an amazing place. It's literally a place where people share their skills. It's like an online school with unlimited subjects and you only have to do the ones that interest you. So it's an online learning community where you can learn about things from literally business, illustration, art, design, anything. Like I said, video editing, anything to do with film, literally endless, endless things you can learn on there. There's no timetable or anything. You take it one step at a time at your speed. Take whatever classes you want, take them however you want to take them. It's honestly a super helpful place for when you're learning how to do whatever you want. Literally, you can, if it's something you've always thought you wanted to do, go try it out. If it's something they've been working on for a while, try it out. There's, there's beginner classes, advanced classes, anything. You can do anything on there. So yeah, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It's a, it's an awesome site. Go check it out. Link in the description, link in the pinned comment. Get your two months free. Go do it. I promise you'll have an awesome time. And that about wraps it up today, folks. Uh, special thank you to Skillshare. Special thank you to BTS for creating those uh, beautiful characters that I pretended to fight today let me know if you guys want any other character it could be anything anything else any ideas leave them in the comments for who i should pretend to fight next hypothetically rank them uh i think it's a really fun video to make i think it was hopefully fun to watch i'd love to do more in the future and uh special thank you to tata for being on my shirt also i got the tata pillow i told you i love tata tata any anything you want to say to the people go vegan oh it's a oh ta go good one anyway i uh, love you guys very much literally I love you so much. Hope you're having the most wonderful day ever. Hope this video helped if your day was not doing so great. Be nice to people. Lo love each other. Go vegan. All that stuff. Go grab merch in the description, in the pinned comment. Go grab it. I just made BTS dub merch. Uh, it's pretty cool, uh, in my humble opinion. And yeah, love you guys. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out! Making my heaven, no heavens. He done it, and all of you left.